Okay, so we've got an egg is thrown vertically upward um, near the point of near the corner of a tall building. So it flies vertically upward and it goes back down. And so it says it just uh, it passes a point 50 meters below its starting point. Five seconds after it leaves the thrower's hand. So it goes up and then comes back down. And so it reaches this point at uh, t equals five seconds. So the egg is initially thrown upwards with, with some velocity. So we're looking for its initial speed for A. Um, so our acceleration is minus g in all cases. Um, so we can use xf is xi minus vit plus one half or plus vit plus one half a t squared. Our initial velocity is what we're solving for. We'll call xi zero. In this case, xf is minus 50 meters. And it equals our vit. So our t is five seconds plus one half minus, um, minus 9.8 meters per second squared times our five seconds squared. And so that our vi is minus 4.9 meters per second squared. <clears throat> Um, plus this actually, uh, times 5 seconds squared minus 50 meters all over um, 5 seconds, yep, yeah. which is equal to um, 14.5 meters per second. So there's our initial speed. And now how high does it rise above its starting point? So that would be solving for where VF equals zero. So VF equals VI plus AT. So then T is equal to uh, where VF is zero. So T is minus VI over A, which is, um, minus 14.5 meters per second over minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Our negatives will cancel and get uh, 1.480 seconds. And so we can use this to solve in our XF expression. Oops, it's a lot of uh, extra pluses there. Vi t plus one half a t squared. Again, our xi is zero, and we know um, everything in this equation here. So our vi is fourteen point five. The time we're using is one point four eight zero seconds. Um, this is negative nine point eight meters per second squared. Um, so this equals uh, 10.727 meters. Okay. Um, so then the next couple questions are kind of funny. So its magnitude of its velocity at the highest point, well, we assumed it was uh, zero to solve it, and it would be because that's its turning point. So V is zero, 
and um, the magnitude and direction of its acceleration. Um, well, a is minus g, um, so its magnitude is 9.8 meters per second squared, and its direction is uh, downward. So I'm just going to check real quickly how this is going. Okay. It's going to give me a notice there. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. So we'll check into the solutions here. Um, so we get 14.9. So for some reason they use minus 48. I don't know why that would be. So it says it's 50 meters below its starting point. So that to me is minus 50. So I don't know why minus 48. Um, and then, so that kind of throws off everything. Um, so I'm just going to say uh, distance for A. Uh, and I can't think of any reason why it would be negative 48. So let's go with. 